welcome to successfultradings.com for this um, weekly market recap uh sorry the, the the image you see there is just a, a gif that uh, my friend mr q just posted from a discussion that we had on our discord all right well first of all thank you everybody for those uh, the subscriber the more than 200 subscribers who have joined uh, successful tradings uh so in the span of just a month we went from 100 to over 200 so yesterday we had uh, our second ever uh, YouTube live chat. I was recorded, so you can check it out on the YouTube channel. Uh, quickly on here, I'm going to um, uh, maybe share with you uh, some of the last week uh, stocks and how they performed. So I believe this was the set of the stock that uh, we talked about in last Sunday video. Uh, so, I mean, you can see the percentages on here, obviously, they are not all calls. So that's by now you know that about this channel. We are not bearish. We are not bullish. We are where the market gets us to give us gain. Whatever the market is doing through day trading, scalping, swing trading, that position that we, we hold for more than a month. So, so that you know. And uh, if like uh, some uh, you are interested in being uh, <laughs> spoon fed, uh, we, I mean, you can, we can get that, but ideally we would like to get you from your current states of, uh, um, of learning to where you are fully independent and uh, you can uh, generate your own analysis. But uh, hey, obviously we have an uh, alert that we will be setting up soon using some of these. So last week, for instance, you could have traded square, not in one direction because the 5% you are seeing there is, could tell you that, oh, you just played calls, the calls won. No, my friend, yeah, last week actually on square, you will have won because the open was about 75. You will have won big on puts first, and then you will have gone even bigger on calls. That's what happened to us. We did that. I did actually trade trade square. So let me illustrate that here very quickly. And that will be the only illustration for last week. I invite you to take that list. Uh, yeah, since it's part of this video, and then even go back, take the list of the May 3rd, and just look at it over a period of one week because um, this, the, these, these, these are triggers that they are proprietary and I've been uh, testing them and <laughs> finalizing them since 2017. Uh, over a period of a week, meaning if it comes in on a given day, you take a week later options, you can make uh, the, a substantial amount of money on that. You have to believe that <laughs> and it works more often than uh, we, we, we will know. If somebody, yesterday, one of the questions that um, uh, the guys were asking uh, in there was, oh, what's uh, the success rate? Well, uh, I want you to be the judge on here since we are posting this and we're going to make it a point to devote maybe the first couple of minutes every Sunday here onto them. So let me show you Square. What well, had is Square pair uh, last week? Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so these are the five days. Yeah, the, the week started on here. Uh, this will be beta, the 11, right? So on the 11, after this, actually, you could have stayed the entire day on the 11, not trade square, no problem. You will not have uh, missed the, the, the two trades, not one, two trades. Then on Tuesday, uh, if you were to say you, you took puts, or uh, because why will I be taking puts on here? That's something that I will reveal to you at a later date. But here is this, uh, so you can see this as a resistance here, 76, 77. So... This year, we couldn't do that. We finished with this uh, red candle. So if you were to take puts, those uh, puts, they went... Uh, so for us, we were trading, what, 72 puts? Yes, they went in the money on Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, on Wednesday on there, you could say, oh, okay, here's a bounce off of the exponential moving average 8 period. Uh, I mean, if you put whatever exponential moving average there, I think you could have had that as well. Or even if you were not to do that, you came in the next day and then you just write this. You, you take calls upon this, this, this move on here, how many points on that? So some point in here, you take that move on Friday. Let's even say you didn't trade on Thursday, folks. If you were just to say, oh, this finished bullishly on, on Thursday. Friday, you play this, uh, this Lotto, the 80, the 80 calls, <laughs> you, 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 you would have been rewarded. I kid you not. The last 30 minutes of Friday, that's a strategy we were talking about with the guys yesterday in the live YouTube session. If you are not with us, go ahead and check it out. It's recorded on here on this channel live. Uh, yeah, uh, the markets on Friday expiration, OPEX, uh, 
it's surprisingly bullish. So hint, hint, we're going to be breaking that down as a, the, 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 the year passes because we have research that we have done over the years on actually which stock tends to move on Friday in a bullish direction. So in that case, it will strictly say, oh, this calls, we have a great percentage of them moving in that direction. Okay, so that's uh, it's for the last week, just to give you an idea of, okay, how, how that is performed is available, so you can check it out. I mean, the likes of uh, Netflix were in there. Monday, I think Target was a winner as well. And on the downside, Roku definitely uh, makes some move. And Western Digital, which we played two weeks ago, if you remember, on calls on just from Thursday to Friday. But this, this past week, it, it, it went down 11%. I can only imagine those puts, how much they pay, right? So uh, this coming week, what are we looking at? So this coming week, uh, based on this here, this analysis here, so AMD is kind of a no man's land. So AMD, we want to trade it, um, and there is because there is it's obviously a trigger. But more importantly, or not more importantly, also I should say, because uh, I think my friend QQ, Mr. Q, posted uh, what did he post? He posted for us. Did we have that here? I'm looking for the ER calendars just to, just to show you for this week. Uh, was it on the general? Yes, here it is. So let, let's bring it up here. So this week, mostly going to be late in the week. NVIDIA is reporting on Thursday after market close. NVIDIA right now is over $335 or something. So something will have to happen. And you know, uh, so a proxy to NVIDIA other than Intel, the natural proxy to NVIDIA, even when NVIDIA was really nothing back in 2016. Yeah, trust me, I traded NVIDIA when it was $37, believe it or not. <laughs> exactly in May <laughs> of this very same year in 2016. Um, so the natural proxy to NVIDIA is AMD. So with that combined to the fact that I have AMD as a trigger for this week for my methodology, I will absolutely, absolutely confidently trading AMD, especially in the later part of the week, meaning starting on Wednesday or of so forth. But if I can get a great setup uh, on um, on Monday, Tuesday, I will day trade it because we're pretty much has just gone sideways here. I mean, this up, oh, okay, I mean, the sideways. Don't get me wrong. If you think you took this put here to 52, you made money. I did. I traded this last week, <laughs> obviously, from this 56. The guys know how I trade. I trade. I trade. This stock is uh, my favorite one to, to day trade, to swing trade. So we won with the calls early in the week, and then uh, we won with the put uh, on Wednesday. Yeah, we did. Just same as square. That's uh, You cannot make it up. If you have an open mind in this market, you are bound to gain in both directions. So who else do we see as... Uh, a trade that we will have uh, in on our watch list, high in our watch list, not just in our watch list. We have we have an extended watch list, but we trim it uh, during the week to focus, to scrutinize uh, a set of stocks. So AMD is going to be one of them. The other one that's going to be one of them is it's, it's Roku, because Roku last week, I mean, great trade, great short from here. So that's that's one again. That, that it, it, it won. Yeah, we traded the. Um, was it the 112 put? So for us, we didn't carry it into Friday. Yeah, we cashed out here on uh, on Thursday. So when it went to 115, whatever, though, though, those puts were nice. Uh, because in, early in the week, we thought, oh, it was going to be bullish. Uh-uh, it didn't go that way. So it, it, on Wednesday, as the market was selling a bit off. So here is no man's land. Because this now is attacking the, upper bowling, the lower Bollinger here at uh, 111 or something. So this week... Either if I, it can, it will find its way back trying to go above the, the moving averages. Let me try to zoom in. Above 120. So using the 120 call, 125 call is one way to, to respect that action. Oh, it's, my friends, it's going to go lower. So if it's going to go lower, um, as of now, as of now, actually, based on this, based on this, unless there is a bounce, I'm going, I'm going to tell you that this year, the way that, uh, how do they call it? Technical analysis is the word I'm looking for. Calls for, for this to be played. Uh, you have to play puts on here because the, 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 the low in here has been that serve as support. Uh, 115 has been violated or 114.60. So we close at 112. But then this market, I've seen these 
it will find its way again bouncing to 120 i guarantee and a better trade will actually be go short when it hit back 120 i don't know why folks that's just observe. I, observe I just observed this thing because technically here you could be like oh geez let me get into but last time notice last time what it did right so here's May 1st and then after hitting closing at 114 the next day on a Monday it rumbled all the way to 124 so my friend on Monday just be ready I mean for all like in all likelihood buy 125 calls they're gonna be cheap I know I will <laughs> and then when you get hit 120 as a potential resistance on there, I think my puts. That's why I have my a strangle set up and I can sleep tight the rest of the week because whatever it does on there is bound to give me gains at some point on one and then uh, being the, 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 <laughs> the way that I am, I'm going to be adding on the losing side if it's early in the week, let's say on a Tuesday and then by Friday, uh, the other side will be winning every game. So AMD Roku, the other two that I want to point out. So what else do we have on here? We have uh, Coupa, uh, Coupa Software. I mean, what a run on Coupa Software, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? So this year, okay, 190, 190. And then last week, so you could have got this at 192. Yeah, because, okay, that's why it closed on the 8th. On the 11th started at 193. And well, within two days, it went to 218. Unbelievable. No, I didn't trade it. I, I didn't trade it. It's, um, it's a relatively new stock in my watch list. So I've been taking the time to, to, to look at it. But, um, that didn't serve me right. So because between that one and Twilo, <laughs> so I'm trying to look at the ATR, $10, folks. So most of the ATRs that we are seeing now, okay, this is over 50 period. So maybe... I need to take the ATR for over 14 period. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to go, going to go into, what do you th expect that's going to be happening here? Uh, 14, update. It's not going to be different now. Yeah. It went from $10 to $11. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, so this mean, average show range mean, this is by how much in average the stock moves every day. It doesn't mean every day is going to move by $11, but especially not in the up direction right it's just that when you average the last 14 points on here that's how much it it has moved in a given day uh last monday went from 193 to 212 my friend if i count correctly that's uh, almost 20 dollars 19 dollars in a day so imagine just buying those calls in there and then riding them <clears throat> into tuesday and selling selling button here wow nice trilo still on the watch list because trilo it didn't quite hit 200, so I'm not that I'm disappointed or anything, but whoa, consolidation. What do you think is going to be happening here, folks? This has been now uh, seven days, okay? Seven days since the earning. So we jump from 122. I saw this nice, actually, let me change the scale here. Just look at this, folks. Zoom, came back, everybody was struggling back in April. So we kind of, but here, nice run up, consolidation. Pre ER gained a little bit from 110 to 120 something. Bang, seven days going on. So, here, all he's doing as of now, I don't know if you ask me, it's just really look like somewhere here or anything. I mean, you will expect that the stock should be coming back to moving averages, but look how far they are. If anything, you get a trade here, not too bad. For all intent and purposes, folks, my, uh, for me, having observed this for a full week now, I'm sure maybe I jinxed it or whatever, but uh, trading this, uh, I think uh, it would be unwise to be looking for puts here. Uh, so after this consolidation here, sometime this week, just 210 or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I will be keeping an eye on it. I will have an alert to go. How am I going to be trading this? So my alert is going to be, let's actually set this up live here with you so that you can see how I set up alerts on here. So I'm going to say, if this thing is crossing... 100 and the high of that's 195 okay uh, but uh, my friend if it's crossing 195 then so crossing 195 uh what's happening here so 195 what when i do that so by may 22nd 200 and i don't know for 215 whatever of course that's that's that that's it so i'm creating that alert and what I create that, it does that. So now I'm going to say, if let's say 
it goes below 180 i'm gonna buy put so add alerts in this case i can tell him use this value here crosses 180 okay uh buy uh for g's the put the put i mean uh the exponential moving average eight period here was 175 okay so i'm gonna pick a round number i'm gonna buy 170 puts just giving you an example on there and then i create my alert okay if i was smart this alert actually should be coming into our discord channel i don't know that's not working for me so if anybody knows how to set up that link i will appreciate that okay folks uh so quickly on here so we talk about amd that we'll be looking for roku and then we have a set of stocks from last week that uh, the, the the play is still available and netflix is one of them um who else we, did we have in there uh, TXN is one of them. IBM is one of them as well. So though, those are yet to materialize. So we'll be looking for those as well because they are power moves into... And then PayPal. PayPal is definitely one of them. PayPal hasn't done much. Um, if we go quickly to PayPal before we conclude here. Aha. Uh -huh. You see my alerts are still in place, folks. So that's where patience comes in. And uh, I have not finished building the position as of Friday, as I told you, because for me, the alert points are where it's, it's where I wanted to, to go in with conviction. And I told you that for me, I will be shorting it when it's actually make this type of bullish move, whatever. So that trade is still in full effect. Thank you very much for your time today. We hope that uh, you we will get to see you or you will be with us on our next uh, daily or market um, Re a recap on uh, successfultrading.com until then have a great evening everybody have a great day wherever you're watching from and stay safe bye bye